So one of the big questions that is constantly tossed around in the Dragon Ball Super fandom is, has Goku at this particular point in the story surpassed Beerus in strength? Could he take him in a one-on-one -on -one fight at this particular point? Now you gotta look at the facts of everything we know thus far, all the comments made by these characters and such. For starters, during the fight with Goku and Beerus, after the fight ended and whatnot, Goku lost, Beerus completely overpowered him, but Beerus made a comment along the lines of, oh man, it's been a long time since I had to use nearly 70% of my power in a fight against somebody and that was at the end of battle of god since then goku has gotten a bit stronger i mean he went super saiyan blue and even in the universe 6 tournament he was able to go super saiyan blue kaioken times 10 so goku has come a long way since his fight with beerus does that say that he's immediately stronger than beerus has he caught up to beerus well you got to look at another comment that was made in resurrection of f by beerus when he saw goku and vegeta versus frieza one of the things that he quoted was if goku and vegeta teamed up together they could probably give me an even fight they could fight me on an even playing field because of the way they are at this point you know their strength level whatever they're both super saiyan blue so right there you got to think okay beerus isn't astronomically stronger than goku and vegeta he's not like you know beyond reach he is stronger than both of them and it would take both of them to combine or whatever but he's not to the point where like oh even vegeta or gogeta would just get stomped by beerus because together they could already give him an even fight and if they went gogeta or vegeta if like you know Beerus was really like intent on destroying the world and killing Bulma and all of them they could do that and they could potentially defeat Beerus but that's no comment on whether or not Goku could take him on by himself because again you got to remember Goku has had a couple power-ups since the last fight that he had with Beerus he can go Super Saiyan Blue now you know he has Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan and then he also has the Kaioken times 10 the thing about Kaioken times 10 as displayed in Goku's fight with Hit is that it's unstable right now he hasn't nowhere near mastered it he used maybe a couple of minutes and then he's completely immobile he can't fight nothing so if Goku was to use all those capabilities that he has Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken times 10 in a fight against Beerus in order for him to even think about taking out Beerus he got to do it quick at this point because he still hasn't mastered it he still can't use that move for a long period of time because Kaioken is very stressful in the body so if he uses that against Beerus if he doesn't defeat Beerus within two minutes or something like that Beerus is going to stomp his ass because he won't be able to do anything afterwards and one of the things that makes me wonder is there was a comment by Toriyama recently where he said that he has no plans of Goku and Vegeta surpassing Beerus at any given time soon. He's talked about basically where they're at and whatnot and how Beerus and Whis are kind of like the pinnacle of what Goku and Vegeta are trying to reach in Super. That's pretty much their goal right now as far as power. They want to surpass them. Every arc, you know, we'll have a villain, we'll have a tournament, and then it goes back to, oh man, I want to train with Whis, you know, I want to surpass Beerus at some point, so that's the goal. And if Toriyama said that Goku's not going to surpass him anytime soon, then you just got to take his word for it however you got to look at the power because again as i previously mentioned in the fight with beerus beerus said afterward that he hadn't used nearly 70 percent of his power in a while meaning goku was roughly close to about maybe 68 69 percent of beerus's power and since then having the super saiyan blue power up as well as the kaioken times 10 you got to think if kaioken times 10 multiplies your power speed and everything times 10 then that means ideally with everything taking into account goku should be more than Beerus. Again though, the fact of the matter is, is that Kaioken times 10 is not perfected. So Beerus, two minutes all he got to do is last with Goku in a fight and there you go he'll take him because if you just calculate the numbers if goku was 11 percent of beerus all it would take is for him to go kaioken times 10 and bam he's stronger than beerus but again the kaioken times 10 i think that's one of the keys right now for goku surpassing beerus if he can master that if he can grasp that without being completely immobile after a couple minutes of battle goku can take beerus like goku has pretty much reached the point where he can do it if he beat him in a couple minutes which with beerus a fight a couple minutes is not going to happen or whatever so he he still needs training so in short no goku right now i don't believe he still can take him simply because even though he'll have the capabilities of doing so using the kaioken times 10 it will be too short of a time span for him to be able to finish the fight and then a couple other questions you gotta ask yourself first of all if this is beerus's trainer looking at it from that standpoint Wiss should be stronger than Beerus being his trainer or whatever then you got to think shouldn't the idea be not necessarily to pass Beerus but to surpass Wiss and then another thing you got to ask yourself do you truly see in Dragon Ball Super Goku and Beerus having a rematch considering the fact that we still have all these gods you know there's 12 universes we got all these people that we're supposed to fight or whatever or not supposed to but might have a good battle with or whatever so where do they match up against Beerus is there even a high 
higher goal out there for them to surpass. So there's a lot of questions to ask, which will kind of drive the narrative of Dragon Ball to begin with. Of, well, this is their goal right now to pass Beerus and Whis, but maybe somebody else might be even stronger than them. But overall, again, in short, to basically put it blunt, Goku right now still doesn't have the capability simply because Kaioken times 10 Super Saiyan Blue isn't perfected. He perfects that, then I honestly feel as though Beerus will get stomped because if Kaioken times 10 multiplies your speed, strength, stamina, everything times 10, if Goku can stay in that form for 10, 20 minutes, then yeah, he can best Beerus because if he's like 70% of Beerus, then times 10, he'll easily surpass him. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think that first of all, him being Super Saiyan Blue, Kaioken times 10 in a couple minutes, he could take out Beerus? I mean, again, even in the Super Tournament, when Goku was fighting Hit afterward, he did say, nah, I don't think we've reached their level yet. So that's another thing to think about. Any overall thoughts about this? Do you feel as though at some given point, Goku and Beerus will indeed have a rematch or that's something that probably won't be shown in Dragon Ball Super? But thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you liked anything I had to say or enjoyed the video, drop me a like. I'd greatly appreciate it. And if you want more from me, make sure to subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and stalk my Facebook to get more when the video ends. I'm FNAF World, and as always, people, have an awesome day.